guys welcome back to my channel so let's just get straight into this video everything i'm showing y'all right now is everything you're gonna need to achieve this look and i see so many tutorials on you know how to get the perfect gray silver whatever but you know there's so many different shades of silver there's like a silver white then it's like a real dark silver gray and i kind of fell right in between so i was very pleased with how this color came out first i feel like sectioning really is like a very important thing to do now besides the fact that yeah of course you got a section into you know start applying the dye and everything like that you know with the hair uh, i just feel like i catch myself taking a long way and unintentionally for every like hairstyle i do so i just feel like the way you section off your hair it really does help cut the time down with uh, like the coloring process straightening your hair everything like it's really all the technique it's a, like a small little technique it's not you know you don't have to but preferably i really feel like sectioning my hair in a certain way like really helps to cut down that um application time now as far as coloring these roots i am going in with the three uh, i think it's three n yeah the three n weller toner and this toner changes color so fast like it turns so fast so literally once you apply it you have to automatically take your finger without any product of course and blend it out immediately because if you don't it's going to leave like a harsh line of demarcation and we definitely do not want that we want a nice gradient effect so just know that this toner turns very very fast so just be very careful with how you apply it and how much time you spend on each section and for those who don't know how to really use the Weller Tone, it's not hard, but I know the directions can be a bit confusing if you're a starter. Just know that for every one bottle of toner, you have to use double the amount of developers. So you see how I just showed you guys the 20 volume developer? That little bottle of the Weller Tone, you're going to pour it in the bowl, and then you're going to take the developer and pour it in that little bottle, the same Weller bottle, then you're going to add it in, then you're going to do the same thing again, and then you're going to add it in and mix it up. I don't know if it works with... Um, 10 volume developer like 10 30 or 40 i just prefer to use 20 plus that's what i see a lot so that's what i'm very used to
this silver came out. I was so proud. I was, oh my god, I was so proud of these results. Like, this is exactly how I wanted it. It's not too light, but it's not too dark. Like, it's literally the perfect silver. Now, I'm gonna start to flat iron this hair and everything like that. I'm using a Remington flat iron, and I just want to mention too, this is very expensive. It's about $20 to $25, and you can pick it up from Target, Walmart, you know, things like that. break your wig or your install whatever it literally if you mess up a part it will literally make your wig look like a freaking synthetic costume wig i promise you so i always make sure i go into my part and make sure i tweeze it to my liking and everything like that you kind i would say it's necessary some people don't feel like it's necessary i definitely do now right here what i'm doing is you know sometimes you dye your roots or you're dyeing your hair color but you don't want to get too close to the roots because you don't want to get the color on the lace you know like you don't want to stain it or anything like that here's some solutions you can either use um, a regular dyeing brush and use black dye or whatever color that you're using you can use a mascara one like one of the disposable ones or you can use an actual mascara which is what i did because i ain't have time for that other stuff and you just could take it and literally precisely apply it to that white spot you see how quick that just cleaned it up it did turn my roots a little bit more darker but it doesn't matter my roots was already dark in the first place sorry if my voice is like slurring a little bit it's like four in the morning i'm so tired but let me just get this up for y'all then i'm gonna take an eyeshadow that is my skin tone and i'm just gonna define my part a little bit just because obviously my scalp is not white so i want it to melt and look super super natural so this was like literally very important for this install.
y'all i'm not even gonna lie i don't know what made me film this part but for some reason i wanted to film my makeup but then i wound up not recording the whole thing so please don't come for me down in the comments i know how y'all get but i literally just was like bro what am i doing like literally i was watching something i was so lost but i still wanted to film it for you guys anyway also i just feel like i've been old y'all a makeup tutorial so any tutorial that i do beforehand that's like kind of a makeup tutorial i just literally bs it and just whatever because i want to give y'all a fire very informative makeup tutorial and then go from there so if i look a little lost or i'm a little sloppy whatever just let me rock okay i just wanted to do this so i could show y'all a little sneak peek
it to the end and i just want to let you guys know how i feel about this hair before we end this video now this hair took the dye very nice well the toner very nice it didn't give me too much shedding to where it was unbearable however i just didn't like how thin it was it was given like 100 percent density but on the website it says 150 so unless you like it it's super natural like this I would say get about 180 to 200 percent density if you want that really really full look this wig is 24 inches and if i had to rate this hair i would say like a 7 out of 10 so i hope you guys enjoyed this video bye loves